Hello and good morning to you. It's uh, Talking and Really and me, Andy Wright. So, welcome. I'm going to do a little vlog today. This is all about PIP, P-I-P, Personal Independent Payment. Um, and I saw this article on Motability website. You can see here. So, eight great things that you could access with PIP. And it's not what you're thinking. It's not about having a car. It's about other things that you're entitled to uh, apply for. And and um, quite usefully, I bet you don't know about half of these uh, items because uh, they are quite interesting. So we're going to do a countdown of, of eight things that you can get if you qualify for a PIP. Uh, these are things that you can apply for. Um, obviously, with the higher rates, you can exchange it for a vehicle. Uh, whether that this is a, a fully paid up vehicle or whether you have to pay for a deposit, it doesn't really matter. You can also have a scooter or a powered wheelchair out on the scheme, which I think is quite good. So, item number one on the list is all about benefit top-ups and depending on what level of PIP you get you may be eligible for top-ups this is a, basically additional money that you can get on things like housing benefit, job seekers allowance, income support, working tax credit, employment and support allowance and pension credit. These are referred to as premiums and some, like the ESA or pension credit, are only given if you get the PIP daily allowance, so daily living allowance. To find out if you could get benefit premiums, you obviously need to talk to the DWP. And they may ask to see, even though they know you, you've got it, they may need to see the actual benefit letter which I think is hmm, silly, but hey, whatever, I don't make the rules. And remember, the uh, the whole thing about this is that getting the extra premiums won't affect the amount of PIP that you get. So it's worth finding out if you're entitled to have it or not. Number two on my list of things that you can get if you're eligible for PIP, then you can also get a discount on council tax. On in some some circumstances, your local council will give you a special discount on your council tax. This is the amount that they help you with. Depends on things like the rate of PIP. Uh, but you can find out more by contacting your local council to see what they can do for you. Number three on my list. Of things you can get when you've got PIP is an increased housing benefit. Uh, if you receive PIP on behalf of a child who still lives at home and they are between 16 and 20 and in training or education you can get help with a little bit more of housing benefit. Number four in my list is very obvious, but it may not be. It's um, a blue badge for parking. Basically, if you get the uh, PIP, then it will make you eligible for a blue badge to help with parking. And of course, this is different to how it was with the DLA. So you should contact your local authority to whoever does it in your area. Uh, it's usually the council. So contact them and find out how they can help you with a blue badge. Number five on my list is road tax discount. The PIP standard rate will allow you to give you 50% off road tax for a vehicle, whilst the enhanced rate gives you a 100% discount. Uh, and this can be obviously any vehicle that is uh, that you're using. It can, of course, be your own mobility vehicle. I, I believe that you can only have one uh, vehicle. So whichever one that you use 
the most. So it can be, if you don't have a motability car, then you can have a, another vehicle that you use uh, regularly. Number six on my list of things that you can get when you're on PIP is if you travel by public transport, you'll be pleased to hear that PIP qualifies you and a friend for a third of most rail fares uh, with a disabled person's rail card. Anyone with a disability can book assistance when they travel, so you can enjoy the journey worry-free. Some councils offer free local bus travel as well, uh, so, but you need to get in touch with your local council directly. I believe this is so in London area where buses for wheelchair users are free of charge. I uh, had the experience of that when I took my scooter up there. So maybe I need to look into that a little bit more. Only two more to go on my list. And number seven is toll roads. This is um, for most toll roads and congestion um, schemes in the UK. A concession is offered to disabled people, providing that they meet the certain criteria. Some toll roads offer a concession if uh, they have the enhanced rate of PIP to see what tolls are offered, then there is an article that I will link down below to see which one's which. But for the majority of toll uh, bridges and things like that, you need to register your uh, information before you travel because the majority of them, they need to know that you're coming, uh, going to be using it. Uh, rather than um, just turning up. The last one on my list that you could get, there are many discounts available for entertainment and leisure activities, from swimming to gyms to cinema. Many of these will ask for proof that you are disabled. <laughs> yeah, guy, I'm in a wheelchair, mate. I don't really want to be in a wheelchair, but hey, I'm disabled, yeah. Anyway, you can use your PIP letter in uh, in these places with confidence, apparently. It's always worth, worth asking how PIP can give you a carer uh, a discount as well. Both National Trust and English Heritage will offer you your carer free entry to their properties with proof of PIP. Whilst the, the UK Cinema Association will issue, issue you a CEA card that you can give um, that gives you a free ticket uh, in participating cinemas. However, last uh, my last information on that was that it needs to be renewed every year, and it, it cost me a fiver per year. Uh, so, but you have to remember to renew it because it doesn't run out every year. Um, All Merlin Entertainment, that's quite a lot of attractions around the UK, offer one complimentary pass per disabled person. The Merlin Annual Pass Holder and all individual attractions offer one free carer ticket and a second carer ticket at half price for a Full, full paying guest with a disability. All you need to do is show your proof of disability. Ah, I'm here. Oh, I'm disabled. <laughs> Which can be a pit blesser dated within the past two years. There are so many ways that your pip can help you connect with the world, enjoy your life, and feel more independent. Take the time to find out more. You might be surprised at how much you can save. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. Well, there you go. That was my rundown of eight items uh, which will get added benefit to PAP uh, people receiving personal independent payment other than a vehicle. Thank you for watching and catch you again. Bye for now.